Tao Tagwe, everyone. This is Dr. Juan Viles Morales, and I'm here today to share with you some findings I found on an individual uh, who was born in Lajas in the 1920s and was uh, identified as an Indio. This is a very unfortunate case of an uh, individual, and I'm going to share their family tree and what I found. So case number one begins with Aracelia Sanchez. This is an uh, individual that I found that was born in Lajas, and we're going to dive right in. This is the record that I found. It was uh, Lajas Nacimientos from 1928 to 1929. This is image 322 of 350, and this is Aracelia Sanchez, born uh, August 28th of 1929 and unfortunately died seven months later. Uh, her mother was Dolores Sanchez and her maternal grandmother was Natalia Sanchez of Mayagüez. Uh, you can notice which is very unusual is that her race is indicated as uh, India, uh, not mestizo, not uh, mulatto, not colored, but India, which I thought was very interesting, especially in the early 20th century uh, when uh, the indigenous population of Puerto Rico reportedly are uh, considered extinct. But here we have an official document from the government, a birth record, if you will, uh, that indicates otherwise. So when interesting uh, finding is that the race of this child um, is changed later uh, in her death record, which was seven months later. Uh, she is recorded as being, in, in this record, as being white, quote unquote. Um, she died of diarrhea. Uh, unfortunately, shortly after she was born, uh, her mother died. Her mother died of uh, tuberculosis, and I have that record on the following slide. Very unfortunate, so most likely uh, her mother dying also eventually led to her death as I, I believe her uh, grandmother took care of her and probably uh, the, the person, uh, Arcelia, did not, was not able to survive due to uh, infant diarrhea, which is quite unfortunate. So this is the death record of Dolores Sanchez, which is the mother of Arcelia. Uh, she died shortly after her daughter was born. Uh, the, the cause of death is listed as tuber pulmonary tuberculosis. Uh, and this was on September 27th. And if you recall, Arcelia was born a few weeks earlier. So, uh, and just before she died, um, she actually got married two weeks prior to this. So that is a very unfortunate case, and I'll share that uh, marriage record on the next slide. So this is the marriage record of Dolores Sanchez, which is Arcelia's mother. Uh, she's uh, 25, and this occurred on August 28th. And as you recall on the previous slide, this was uh, a month before her death. So uh, unfortunately, uh, she, uh, I also could not determine from the records if this gentleman here, Bernardino Gutierrez Acosta, if he was actually Arcelia's father. I can't, uh, I can't answer yes or no, so I'll leave that up in the air. Uh, her mother at this uh, wedding was uh, 36 years old, which is important because um, this put her date of birth around 1883. And when I looked her up, I found some records and uh, it, that was part of key of me locating um, her family line. I did look up um, Bernardino Gutierrez Acosta. I looked up uh, his previous marriage. 
uh, when he was 24 years old, he married uh, Ansucion Martinez Rodriguez. Uh, and this was uh, at, at least 15 to 16 years before uh, the, the mar when he remarried um, Dolores, which was Arcelia's um, mother. Uh, I looked to see if they mentioned his race and that was not filled out. Uh, in, what I find interesting is is that um, Bernardino Guterres Acosta is actually a distant relative of mine. Um, uh, he connects to the Lopez de Victoria uh, family line. I was able to locate uh, the marriage record for Natalia Sanchez. Uh, she got married uh, around the time when uh, Arcelia's mother, Dolores, was born. So I'm not sure if this gentleman that she's marrying, Ramon Perez Figueroa, is the actual father of uh, Dolores Sanchez, which I don't believe because on another record, on a census, it actually lists her um, paternal or, or her father's last name as being Lugo. So I found that interesting. So it could very well be that um, Mr. Uh, Perez Figueroa could be her father, but I, I think it's very unlikely. Uh, it mentions, uh, this document actually mentions the parents of Natalia. So I was able to use this information and construct the family tree for Arcelia, which I'll show on the next slide. Uh, and the age, correlates with uh, what I found earlier. So uh, this was a, a good find. So this is Arcelia's uh, tree. Uh, on the bottom, you can see Arcelia Sanchez, and she was born August 28th of 1929. And unfortunately, she died seven months later uh, in 1930. Uh, her father is unknown, is not listed. Uh, I have some suspicion who it might be, but I could not uh, fully confirm it, so I'm not gonna list the, the person. Uh, we do know her mother is Dolores Sanchez, and from her death record and from other records, we could tell that her mother is Natalia Sanchez. Um, in one of the census, I believe is in the 1930s, uh, there is an instance where you could, or actually no, the 1920s, uh, I correct myself. In the 1920s, you see Natalia Sanchez with another gentleman. It's not the, the, the guy she married earlier. It's another, uh, it's, I think it's a common law marriage. And it has listed um, Dolores and her half sister. Um, and, and, uh, I'll share that record shortly. So I was able to, from the record, also determine uh, Natalia's parents, which are Gregoria Vargas, which is um, Arcelia's uh, maternal great-grandmother, and Jose Sanchez, which is her maternal great-grandfather. Uh, and all the records that I found, none of them list the race, or um, if a race was listed as such as in the census, it labeled um, Natalia as colored. Uh, it did not mention Indio, it did not say Mulatto, it was just C-O-L. And I'll share with that shortly. On this slide, I included the full three pages of the document of the marriage between Ramon Perez Figueroa with Natalia Sanchez, which was Arcelia's um, grandmother. I listed here for completion's sake, so if anyone wants to pause the video and read the whole thing, feel free to do so. I'll just give you a few seconds, um, so that way uh, you can pause it and read on. Uh, on the next slide, I actually have the death certificate, or the death record, rather, of Natalia Sanchez, and I'll share with that you right now. So this is the death record um, for Natalia Sanchez, which is Arcelia's grandmother. And uh, again, her parents are listed as Jose Sanchez and Gregoria Vargas. 
Um, she died on August 14 of 1942, and it has listed date of birth as 1889. But um, actually, if you look at the other documents, um, her marriage record and the census records, I think it's the more accurate numbers, 1883. Also of note, um, her birth record where her race would have been uh, recorded actually was crossed out. So we can't um, determine if she's actually uh, India or Mestizo or what, or what have you. Also, I want you to be uh, cognizant of her husband listed on here as Carlos uh, Fradera. Um, this is important because I um, there are other documents that confirm this. Um, uh, this name of this individual, uh, I believe it was a common law uh, relationship. And uh, I'll show you on the next slide the census where, there, where I found them. So this is the census taken in 1935 to 1936 uh, in the Pueblo of Lajas. And here we have Rosa, I uh, highlighted her uh, on the census on line 55. Uh, I'm sorry, it's Natalia Sanchez, which is um, Arcelia's grandmother. Uh, we have her listed uh, as her race being recorded as colored. Uh, her age coincides with the previous records as being listed as 47, uh, which would place her date of birth around 1883. The individual that was uh, recorded on her death record, Carlos Fradera, is here listed. Uh, and that's important because we'll see on another census um, taken in the 1920s, uh, which is on the next slide. So this census taken in 1920 has Natalia Vargas, uh, Sanchez and Vargas, who is the wife, noticed that above her, and I'm sorry the line uh, blurred it a little bit, but Carlos Fradera is the husband. And then you see beneath her, her daughter, Juana Sanchez, as a daughter. So this is, um, and I believe that's the daughter between Natalia and this gentleman, Carlos but most likely um, they had a common law because if you look at the type of um, marriage, it's, it says CC, so uh, it's probably a con contractal, uh, so common law. So Juana is Dolores's half-sister because if you look at the next line, Dolores is right here uh, listed. And remember I mentioned that her last name was Lugo and Sanchez, so uh, I don't think uh, we know who her father is, but it, his last name is Lugo. So it's uh, definitely not this Carlos gentleman being her father because she's listed as Ihastra or stepdaughter. Uh, and she was 14 around this time. Um, I actually think she was a little bit older because, um, uh, or, or actually younger, excuse me, because um, supposedly she was born in 1904 so no she should have been uh, 16 so they put her younger than she was so uh this sort of builds a a case that this uh these records that i found are the one and the same individual so um you could see dolores on here so this is this natalia sanchez and vargas is the same one um listed for arcelia's grandmother so uh, I think this builds a strong evidence that I'm dealing with the same individuals. Uh, notice that Juana Sanchez here, uh, that's Dolores's sister, which is Arcelia's aunt. I, I was able to find her. Uh, I found one of her marriage records and I'll share that on the next slide. So I was looking to see if her race was listed. I'm just trying to see if there's someone else in the family uh, that is listed as um, Indio. And um, this is actually, a, I'm sorry, this is the death record. It's on the next slide, the marriage, but this is the death record of 
Jose Sanchez, which is Arcelia's great grandfather, who is the father of Natalia. So um, he, he's listed as white, blanco. Uh, and that's not surprising as we've seen on multiple, multiple accounts where the race of the individuals change from uh, color to white uh, or what have you, or vice versa. Uh, usually it's going to white uh, and it's usually done in a way um, to race uh, indigenous uh, traces uh, within families. People just change it to white because they uh, seen benefits in changing their race or it was done for them because uh, uh, probably their children wanted to, to identify as white so um, they labeled their parents as uh, being white. Here is the marriage record of Juana Sanchez and Vargas. This is Arcelia's aunt. Uh, unfortunately, it does mention the ethnicity or race of uh, her husband, which is labeled as Trigueño, but it fails to list her ethnicity, so we cannot deduce if she was India or not, but um, I just wanted to present that here uh, as uh, another record that I found related to her. And I do have, I believe, her brother on the next slide. Here is a record of Arcelia's great uncle, who is the brother of Natalia Sanchez, which is Arcelia's grandmother. This is his uh, marriage record. Uh, and interestingly and unsurprisingly, um, his race is recorded as white, uh, which uh, typifies the typical uh, case of what we find of um, multiple races um, being changed throughout the family and people identify as different races. So uh, this concludes the unfortunate case of Arcelia Sanchez, uh, which was a, a young girl who died at the age of seven months, who tragically her mother died uh, shortly after she was born and uh, likely contributed to her own demise and uh, the family history that I could obtain from the available medical records. I hope you enjoy and keep an eye out for the next uh, case.